Folks, welcome to Enraged. After you see this video, watch it through its entirety, if you don't mind. That's all we ask. And then like and subscribe if you feel like it. Leave your comments after it's over. You know, we live in a world right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Every time we think it's just about over with, it hits us again. We don't know when it's going to stop. This virus keeps mutating. And along the lines, we've got two sides. You've got sides that say don't match. You've got sides that say do match. But all the time, just in one year alone, we lost over 650,000 people to this virus. It's a plague. It's affecting us. It's affecting our mental capacity. It's making us think wrong things. Pol politics is getting involved. Um, the government's an issue in it. All over the world, it's killing people left and right. Some of us, because of our addictions, some of us because of our body weight, our styles, but it's even affecting young kids as well. Today I want to touch on something that might reflect that, something that happened years ago, and a man that maybe had an insight to it to see what was going on. The man's name was R.C. Christian. Now, they called him Mr. Christian. What he basically did was set this in place, the George Guidestones. See, the story of the Guidestones began in 1979, in June of 1979, when a stranger identified as Mr. Christian, later known as R.C. Christian, visited Joe H. Finley. He was the president of the Elberton Granite Finishing Company. And he indicated to him that he represented a group of loyal Americans living outside the state of Georgia who wanted to build a monument focused on the theme of conservation. <laughs> I kind of screwed that word up in there. Yeah. Well, Mr. Christian, who had assumed his pseudonym because he was a Christian named Wyatt C. Martin, president of the Granite Sea Bank, as the intermediary to hold funds and escrow for the project. Mr. Wyatt C. Martin would basically gather the funds up that was sent to him through donations, through private sources, people that only he knew and could not provide any information on. This was all held again at the Granite City Bank. As a intermediary to hold funds to escrow, this wished to remain anonymous forever. They didn't want nobody to know who they were. They selected Georgia because of his excellent granite, mild climate, and a heritage of his great-grandmother as a native Georgian, R.C. Christian. He wanted a monument in Elberton County. If there were a suitable remote site for it, that's what he wanted, which they found on a hillside in the highest point in Elberton County. You can see it right here. This is the highest point in Elberton County. You see the cars and highways. Highway 77 right there down below here. We'll get to that in a minute. It's on a farm of Mildred and Wayne Mullocks north of Elberton on Highway 77. Finley's company carved a six-part monument from pyramid blue granite. The Georgia Guidestones consist of four granite megaliths set in a paddle wheel arrangement around a center stone, which is surmounted by a flat capstone measuring 19 and a quarter feet in height as the highest peak. The stone groups measure 17 and a third feet in width and is a diameter of 65 feet. The overall weight of this is 951 cubic feet. 951 cubic feet, that's over 237,000 pounds. The ground marker west of Guidestones provides additional data that covers a buried time capsule. Let's go check it out. Here's a time capsule buried in here. Gives you all kind of information on the astro astronomic features, the physical data, Tells you when it was erected in 1980. It tells you even the the way the the setup is. The Guidestones language, Chinese and Russian, right here, Chinese and Russian, Hebrew and Hindi on the south side, Swahili and Spanish on the west, and to the north, Russian and English. Tells you the overall weight, poundage, and also there is a time capsule in here. I don't know when it's going to be unearthed. Place six feet below this spot to be opened on. It's empty. It doesn't say. You see? It doesn't say when it's going to be empty, when it's going to be opened. It tells you the pseudonym name, R.C. Christian. Sponsors a small group of Americans who seek the age of reason. Astronomic feature channeled through the stone indicates celestial pole. Horizontal slots indicate annual travel of sun. Sunbeam through the capstones marks noontime throughout the year. No matter when you do, daylight savings time, no matter what it is, 
it never changes. That's awesome. It's kind of weird. The capstone on top, it's got hieroglyphics on it, Egyptian hieroglyphics. There's the Russian and the China side. And this is where it says, what well, basically it tells us everything about it right here. To maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Everybody assumes it's um, pretty much worldwide. You know, we're global warming. You know, we're tearing down the ozone layers and everything. If we got too many people on Earth, maybe was this a trajectory? Was they trying to tell us to aim toward a number of total global population, or was it just for America, being that it was set in America? It's kind of hard to tell. Right now, we're looking at 380 million people in the United States, so we're still below that cap. So you would assume that he's trying to talk about the world. The guide, re guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity within a living new language. Put us all under one language. Could it be Christian? Christianity? Could it be that? It sparked a lot of controversy. Could it be Bitcoin? I mean, there's all kinds of conspiracies out there. What was they trying to do? Were they trying to uniform us all into one lifestyle, one connection, to where we all think the same, maybe, instead of it being so much of a dark side of it? Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. In other words, have a little bit of calmness about ourselves. Stop all the hatred. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts instead of outrageous laws. Let all nations rule eternally, resolving external disputes in a world court. We tried to establish that with the UN. It works, but then it don't work in certain ways. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Well, we could take that in consideration, couldn't we? Look at our government. Look at our politics. Look at our laws. Some of our laws are put into place only to benefit certain people, and they don't reflect what they're actually supposed to be out there for. Balance personal rights with social duties. That's a hard pill to swallow right there. There's a lot of hypocrisy in the world today and also in America. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. They say that twice. They say that twice. It means something. They say that twice. It has to mean something. See little Maxie down there? <laughs> Maxie trying to get in the shade. Folks, you got to look at the the, the the geography of this, the, the engineering, the architecture, the design to where the the whole thing is set up for astronomical use to where it don't matter what time of the the year no matter if you use daylight saving times or not you will find noon it'll fall every time no matter what and think about that you know we fall back and we spring forward but it doesn't matter it doesn't change they got these holes here they shoot through i don't know if you can see through there or not i'm trying to get you through there you can see the light through it Kind of hard with this camera. You got these here. I mean, look at that. These are polished. Polished. I mean, it's, it's all rough cut, but it's all polished. All the etchings of the stone. Look how deep the etchings are. These were done by some. It's all masonry work, and were done by professionals, by skilled craftsmen. Their names are not polished on here. Their names are not put down in stone to let you know who done it. Yes, the granite company is, but the little individuals, the people that actually, the hardworking people that actually went through the trouble of etching all this here, to let you know, you know, you can go if you want it. If anybody wants any more information on this, you can go to the uh, Elberton Granite Museum and, ex and exhibit in College Avenue in Elberton, Georgia. It's right down the road from here. All this is set up here, folks. It's all here for a reason. And like I said, the guide stone, there is a, there's a, there is a time capsule here. And nope, it does not state when the time capsule is going to be opened. It does not say that. You don't have a clue when it is. But it's all this is edged. There was a lot of work done to this for, for it not to be for no reason whatsoever. I mean, when you, you go to cemeteries, you see tombstones that are etched. They're there for a reason, for loved ones, people that's passed. I don't believe this was set up for us to look at us as our demise, as our be the ending of our world. 
I believe this is a wake up call for us to wake up and realize it's important that we start trying to balance things out with nature. <coughs> Excuse me, instead of taking from it so much. We're unearthing. We're frat I mean, with everything that's going on, and I understand we've got to survive. We've got to make we gotta make sure we're we're the alpha we're the we're the alpha, you know, we are we're the predators. We're the number one predators in the world and we're we're killing our own world. We're above everyone. We're on top of the food chain. And we're slowly killing our world. Now, when does it end? I don't know. I don't know when the world's going to end. Nobody knows. There's only one true maker that's ever going to know that decision at all. But can we help prevent it? Can we help slow it down? With humanity, with a little bit of thought, with scientific reason, and with protecting ourselves, protecting ourselves, we can do. I'm not a scientist. I'm a human being. Instead of fighting, bitter fighting over these masks, over these vaccines, and losing people left and right, because every time there's only one of us, look at how many per individual, per capita, we're losing people because we're either too stubborn to get the vaccine, we're too stubborn to wear a mask. If that's the simplest thing you got to do in public, there's people that still don't even cover their mouth when they cough. All you got to do is cover your Use your, use your elbow, cup your elbow around your mouth. There's people still don't do that. We've got a lot of hatred in this world. Dissension. Self-centeredness. We've got to stop all that. We've got to start finding a little bit of humility and start finding a little bit of humbleness in our, in our own being. If not, these God stones are going to be our tombstone. These God stones can be our tombstone, folks. You go to cemeteries. You visit loved ones. You lay flowers at them. Is that what the next generation to come? Who's going to be here to lay, lay flowers at Earth? Could this be Earth's tombstone? I don't know. You decide. Leave your comments. Like or dislike. Let me know. This is just a prelude to what's going to go on in the rest of the channel. Again, this is Enraged. Check it out. God bless y'all. I hope you subscribe.